Hey everyone, my name is Uswan and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to work with layers in React Conva. This tutorial is part of the Xcali Rock loan tutorial I'm making, so be on the lookout for that. It will hopefully come out in a month. So let's get into it. Let's say you have three shapes inside your layer component. One red rectangle, one green circle and one blue rectangle. You will notice that these shapes are automatically stacking on top of each other and I haven't really passed any Z index kind of prop to these components. In React Conva, the order in which these shapes are defined inside the layer component determines the layer in which they are in. As red rectangle is the first element that I have defined in the layer component, the red rectangle is far behind in the stacking context and every other shape is in front of it. Similarly, this green circle is in front of this red rectangle. So you can see that this green circle in the canvas is also in front of red rectangle, but it is behind the blue rectangle. Because in this particular case, I've defined the blue rectangle after the green circle. So in this clone I'm making, I have a drawing state, which is an array. So whatever drawing I make, either it's a scribble or a rectangle or circle, that basically would be added to this array. And then here inside the drawing component, I am mapping the drawings and based on the name attribute I have, I'm rendering different components. Now, this is essential that every drawing I have, every shape, etc. is in one array. Now I'll get rid of these hard-coded shapes and I'll draw shapes myself. So I will do that. Then here, let me draw some shapes. So I'll draw a rectangle. I'll draw a square. And then I'll draw a rectangle again. Now let me select these and give this change backgrounds so that I can distinguish them. Then this can have a reddish color. So basically the order in which I drew the shapes is the order in which they are present in this canvas. So when we are mapping the array, basically the order of the items in that particular array determine in which layer they are in. So the most recent or the last shape in that array would be at the top. The first item in the array, the first shape, the item at the zeroth index would be at the bottom. So basically if you want to move shapes around like in different layers, like if I want to move the shape to the back, if I want to move a shape forward, etc. I can do that by changing its indexes in the drawings array. So here I've got this basic reorder array function. Basically what it is doing is I am passing an array, then I'm passing a from and to number, which would be indices. And basically it would move the item from this particular index to this particular index in this array and then return the array. Whenever I select a shape, a lot of options show and these are the, some of the options related to layers. So this particular button should send that particular selected shape to the back. This should take it one step back. This button should take it one step forward and this button should take it to the front. This all layer change function is the function which is basically called whenever you click on a button and basically gives me this param which is an enum and this is the enum. So it can be any of these four options and based on these four options, I will mutate the state. So first of all, I would like to find the index of the shape in the array currently. So I'll say const current index is equal to drawings dot find index drawing drawing dot id is equal to current selected shape dot id. So current selected shape is the object which represents the currently selected shape. So basically this would give us the current index. Now let me make a switch case for this action. So let me add the first case. I'll say layer options dot sent to back. Then break. Then similarly, let me add four other ones. So I'll say send backwards. Then this would be sent forward. And then this would be sent to front. Now in the case of send to back, basically if there is a drawing or shape and I want to push it to back, basically what I want is I want to move that particular drawing from its current index to the zeroth index because that would be the first shape that would be rendered on the canvas. So I'll say set drawings, then prev drawings, and then I'll use the reorder array function and I'll say prev drawings and then it should go from current index to zero simple now here in case of send backward i want that it goes one step back so i will just say current index minus one so it should basically go one layer back similarly in case of send forward i would come here and i will increment it by one that is i want that shape to go one step forward now in case of send to front i'll say the same thing but here i will say prev drawings length minus one so basically i want to move it to the last index 
Now let's test it. So this is the shape I've selected. If I click on set forward, it comes after the green rectangle, but it's still below the blue rectangle. If I click on it again, now it is at the top. Similarly, if I click on this button, it basically pushes it to the back of each shape. Now basically, if I click on the send to front button, it basically comes out on top. So this is a very easy way to implement layering in Drag Conva. You don't have to do any fancy thing. It's just basic reordering your drawings or reordering your shapes in the array state you have for the drawings. That is it for the video. If you learned anything from this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel as it motivates me to make more and more better content. As always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.